First and foremost, I want to give all the honors, the praises, the glory belongs to Yahawah by Sham Yahabashai, Bahasham Mahavakak Wadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahawah. His son's name is Yahabashai, in who I reverence and honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe and to the few, very few brothers and sisters listening and learning. There's only a few out here. There's going to be a variety of topics, Lord willing this to be edifying. Well, you know what? I don't even know what it's going to be, but we're just going to flow with this spirit and see what we can find. A lot of stuff's going on, right? The intent of men is being shown, the demonic intent of certain men, but I want to stay with one thing at a time. I promise to tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. That's all I give you. That's all I'm here to give you. We're going to start from Proverbs 18, right? And before I start this lesson, I think the best way to do it is I want to clear my name right now. I'm not, I'm not a part of any Masonic type of organization and I haven't took no deals, I haven't sold my soul, I haven't took any deals. So if men are trying to portray that I've done that, these men are very demonic, right? Because people that sell out, they don't really get too much, what's the word? Hassle, right? So I, just, I need to put that out there, I need to clear my name. I have not sold my soul. I have not taken any deals. I have not signed any ag agreements. Okay. I have to put that out there. Because there's a lot of demonic ass men out here. And I never realized this as well. There is certain people that can, um, I don't know what it's called, but they can put you on like a Masonic program and say, oh, he broke an oath. There's no oath I've broken. If any oath I have broken, it's a demonic oath. Right? So if there's any if there's been any oath or covenant are broken, it's a demonic covenant. I'm not in I'm I'm in Yahweh, I'm covered by Yahweh Shai. So I just gotta throw that out there. Right? I haven't took any deals, I haven't sold out, I haven't compromised myself. I have to throw that out there. Right? So now let's go to Proverbs 18. Through desire a man having separated himself so the desire is to gain wisdom right and separation equates to elevation seeketh an ed to meddleth with all wisdom right so the same look it says seeketh an ed to meddleth with all wisdom so the more we separate ourselves the more we can seek an ed to meddle with wisdom but it's harder to do that when you're around people of the world that don't have that same mindset as you okay so now go to John go to John So lucky about this as well. I'm just multitasking. I got the umbrella in my hand as well. This is first, first. Hold on, first John four, and jump straight to fifteen. Right, love not the world. This is my. It is my favorite scripture. It is my favorite scripture because it's very just. It's so basic. It's bait and straight to the point. Love not the world. Right? So we don't have the expectation to love the world. We don't have to. Right? We're not seeking the standards. We don't want to be loved by demons and so forth. We're not trying to fit in. The things you may already really love doing, you don't you don't have that same amount of passion for that thing because it says love not the world. So guess what? We ain't supposed to love this world. Right? At all. Because the love of the world is enmity with Yahweh Shai. So love not this world we're supposed to be separate from this world right this is how we're supposed to be separate and be holy what does separate mean 
holy, so we're supposed to be holy unto who? Unto Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. Right? They got the honey pots walking past as well. Like, so we're supposed to be holy unto Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai, which means separate. So once we separate ourselves, we can be holy. And it also says love, not the world. So we don't have to love this world. Okay, we don't have to love this world at all. We're not bound to this world. Okay, and love not the world. And don't worry, we're going to get them women. That's another thing. Women are part of the world as well. That's another thing. Women are part of this world. Right? Bro, we're going to get all that. You're going to get women. You're going to get the things you don't have here. You will get. Yahweh Shai said that as well. Right? The things you don't have. You're going to receive in the kingdom. So you may be getting caught up. Oh, woman, this woman's beautiful and so forth. Nice figure. Nice hair. Bro, you're going to get that in the kingdom. Right? Eventually. Right? So love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Okay? Excuse me just a minute. And this is... The reason I love this scripture, because that, that means you don't have to live according to the expectations of the world. Now, how much, that's, that's freedom. That's a level of freedom in Yahweh Shai. Love not the world. And we know the Pharisees, the chief priests, we know they were lovers of this world. Right? We know they, they were lovers of the world. Okay? They were lovers of this current world. Right? They had a position going back to Matthew 23. They loved the high seats. We can even go to, excuse me, just a minute. See, there's, two, there's parallels in this truth. Who the true men of the Lord are and who they ain't. And a lot of these men are showing, a lot of these men showing, they're showing you how wicked they are. If you're wicked, I always say this, if you're wicked, you're not going to be able to hide that in the last days. It's going to come out. If you're a righteous spirit, you're just going to be righteous, even though you may fall and slip. But if you're wicked, you can't keep that in. That's going to pour out. Come on now. Matthew 23, I just want to go to the example of Matthew 23. All right? And, Baba Kisha, jump straight to, where was it, was it? Matthew 23? When it was saying they loved the highest seats. This is Matthew 23. And jump straight to verse 5. But all their works they do to be seen of men. So they, they were not in it for Yahweh Shai, they were just to be seen of men. Join our camp. But you're going to find out there's a lot of wicked men in Great Millstone. This ain't personal. Yeah, I would mention IUIC, but I already know there's a lot of wicked men in IUIC already. The reason why I'm saying in Great Millstone is because they portray that, oh yeah, if Yahweh was here, he'd be with our camp. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Who told you that? Right? And the one you should honour is Yahweh Shai. You don't put no other man before Yahweh Shai. Right? I'm not going to put Elder Tahar before Yahweh Shai. I'm not going to put Elder Aramla before Yahweh Shai. You don't do that. And this is what men are doing. Right? So certain men, they just love to do it to be seen of other men. Okay? And it says Baba Kasha. Baba Kasha, check this out. Check this out. And they love to be seen of men. Right? They make broader phylacteries and they enlarge the borders of their garments and love the uppermost rooms at the feast. All you have to do is just pay attention. Pay attention to what's going on. Who are the synagogues today? Who are the wicked synagogues today? That's all you have to do, just pay attention. And these men, they're flipping juiced in. They're juiced in with, with the enemy. It's probably them that put you on a list. It's probably them that put you on a... Well, you know what, it might not be, but doesn't really matter because all things are of Yahweh Shai anyway. But I'm just letting you know, I'm not a part of any lodge I haven't sold out. So if men, if men, because men can do that, there's certain people that can put you on like a Masonic list. Oh, he he broke, he broke a covenant. No, the only thing I broke was a demonic covenant, right? I'm not bound to any um demonic agreement. I haven't signed no deals on paper, nothing like that, right? I haven't agreed to any wickedness, okay? I'm just, I'm just clearing my name. It's Matthew 23. And it says, Baba Kasha, 
but all their works they do to be seen of men. So this means it's just men doing the work just to be seen. They have no intent of glorifying Yahweh Shai. Their whole thing is all about them and their camp, how many followers and how many people they can deceive. It's called false prophets. It's called the Pharisees, the wicked chief priests and elders. Okay, now let's go back to John. They were lovers of the world, by the way. That's why they loved the, the uppermost rooms at feasts and chief seats in the synagogues. Because they were lovers of this world. Go back to John. See, when I bring out these scriptures, I'm going to tell you everything. I'm not going to hide anything. I bring out anything. There's nothing to hide within this truth. I even confess my own sins within this truth. You see my highs, you see my lows, you see my ups, you see my downs within this truth. I'm very transparent. Now, these demonic cast men, they're not transparent. They're devils, right? I'm talking about you Pharisees, you wicked ass men, right? That are hiding, but are hiding behind the scenes, right? And it says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Point blank period, don't love the world, neither the things that are in the world, okay? If any man love the world, okay? The love of the Father is not in him. Powerful scripture. Powerful. Scripture that like this is just very concise and straight to the point. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The love of what? Yahweh? Why Yahweh? It's not in him. So one could act like they're, um, what's the word? Like they're, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Like they love the Lord Yahweh Shai, but they're really lovers of the world. Now I want to quickly go to, excuse me just a minute, Matthews 6, 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth where neither, where neither moth and rust are corrupt, where thieves can break through and still another one of my favorite scriptures. Why? Because everything here is tangible. We can't take it with us. That's why it'd be silly to sell out. It'd be silly to take a deal. Because you're not taking it with you. So what would you rather? Eternal life or just enjoy the pleasure of sin here for a moment? And that's why I choose not to sell out. Right? Because you're, that just means you're enjoying it, the pleasures of sin for a moment. That's all for a moment. Okay, and it says Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Check this out to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a moment. Go back to Matthew, you over saw Matthew's. So, like, I'm all over the place. There's a lot I'm thinking about today. This is Matthew 6 and 19 20. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. That's what you're supposed to be doing because that's where the fulfillment is, that's where that's um, that joy is. Not on things that are here. Bro, I see people every day in their Ferraris, Lamborghinis, driving past, Jaguars. But these are some of the most unhappy people. Right? They have the wife, they have the wife, they have the children. They, seems like they got it all. But why are they still unhappy? Why are they still unhappy? Because what they had to do to get that. And ultimately, it may not even be that. Because they may not have had to do anything wicked to get those things. They're probably just hard working. But you could be very hard working and so forth, but still, what's it? Downtrodden, depressed because you don't have Yahweh Shai, you don't have that comfort. So, with this word, you have everything. I'm telling you, everything can more. Alright? And it says, Baba Kasha, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So, the value, supposed to value this truth. Your heart's going to be there, your mind. It's going to be there also. I know I get a lot of people thinking, ah, oh, why is he always doing this? Why don't he stop teaching? Because a prophet's lot, or whoever, if you are appointed to teach, you are going to teach. You are going to teach this word, regardless. That's why, ah, oh, he's just doing videos every day. Yeah, so what? What are you doing? Huh? Except from scoffing, running your mouth, scoffing, and probably smoking weed, being a degenerate. Right, which we were once degenerates, but then you have to uh, clean up your act, polish up your act. Right? It's not like I'm doing anything bad. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm, I'm not doing anything bad. I'm teaching the word, reading the scriptures, and on top of that, yeah, you're learning a few skills on the side. Okay. 
And the light of the body is the eye, your mind, your mind's eye. If therefore the eye be single, this is Yahawashai speaking, the whole body shall be full of light. This is why we, our eyes have to be single, right? But if the eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness, right? If therefore that light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? That's a great darkness, man. If your eye be evil, and from what I'm seeing, man, Hey, a lot of men are turning evil, evil, and I know demons plague brothers because we all get it. it happens to me. I know demons plague people's minds and brothers' minds, but you have to pray over that. I, I keep saying that there's a difference between a righteous man that falls, slips, and gets back up, and just the wicked man that's a child of the devil that's just a counterfeit. There's a difference, and you're gonna find out there's a lot of counterfeits within this truth, right? can only fake it for so long so if the light is in thee be turned to darkness that means what was you doing that means you were too engrossed in the world you have to dedicate your life to this truth fully dedicate yourself to this truth fully there ain't no turning back even with that stupid masonic thing yeah once you're in there is no out they say it's death but this is why i'm again clearing my name i'm not a part of any masonic fraternity i never sign no deals i never nothing like that right and this whole thing about well if you're in the lodge um if you leave you there's people that have been in lodges and they've just stepped down and they went they never went really high up like that and they were fine they're still living today they were fine you know all that's fair tactics well you can't do that you can't you can't you can't leave you can't leave the lodge they kill you that's not necessarily true that's not necessarily true it's when you go to the higher levels of the lodge. That's when it's, it gets serious. Because you have testimonies of people that were once, what, masons. And they've left it. And they're still about today. And they're giving their testimony. So I don't know what they've told you. But now things are starting to add up. I'm looking at the patterns between certain men. Yes, even certain elders. Even certain bishops that are demonic as hell. Right? And if you're not of the elect, it's just you're not of the elect. I'm not, I'm not taking shots at anyone. You have righteous bishops, you have wicked bishops. You have righteous elders, you have wicked elders. Right? You have righteous Pharisees, you have wicked Pharisees. But it's for you to discern. Bring out the word, bring out Yahawashai, and then you're able to see who's for Yahawashai and who ain't. It's just easy. Right? If you bring out Yahawashai fully. Okay? Alright, I was doing too much talking. Let's get the scripts come out. But if the eye be sluckier, the light of the body is the eye. If the eye be single, the whole body shall be full of light. So we want our eyes to be single, right? We want our eyes to be single. Okay, they're doing a whole load, load of signaling today. A whole load of witches and warlocks out here today. But that's all right. Maybe just me. <laughs> but if the eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness, right? If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? So. That's a great darkness. That's a great darkness. If your eye be evil. Right? That's why we don't we want our eyes to be single on Yahweh Shai. Don't focus on the evil, too much evil that's happening around you. Don't focus on that. Yahweh Shai will take care of that. Some of us, yes, we're gonna some of us are gonna be um That's another lesson. Uh, maybe I can go with it. Some of us, yeah, are gonna be locked up. You know, because of false allegations and certain things people put out there. Yeah, you know, some of you are going to be locked up. Peter was locked up. Paul was locked up. Right? But they made a way. Right? There was, Yehoshua made a way for them. So there's all types of things that have been going on for years. For years, man. Men trying to set you up. All types of stuff. Okay? But we just have to endure, that's all. And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. No man, no man can serve two masters. That's the point. Love not the world. No man can serve two masters. You can't have it both ways. You know what a lot of people want? They want their cake and they want to eat it all. You can't, <laughs> you can't eat all the cake. You can't have it like that. Oh, let me just slice half of the cake then. Um, well, maybe a part of the world. And You can't be like that. Right? Because then that means you're going to be lukewarm. 
You're not really going to want to be all in. You're not going to be all in. You have to put both of your feet. Put your best foot forward. Right? You have to be all in. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. No man can safety master. You either hate the one and love the other. Right? And that's how it would be. Okay? Or else you would hold to the one and despise the other. You see? You cannot serve them all saying mammon. Mammon goes into... um. It's an idol, the money demon. And a lot of you got money demons on you, right? Bro, I don't even have, bro, I don't even have, I, I don't want to put it out there. A lot of you took a, money, oh, he took a deal. He's rich. Bro, I'm not rich. Who the fuck told you that? Who told you that? I'm not rich. I don't, I don't even have five grand under my name. You know, so the, you got men that are making up lies, man. Yeah, he sold out. No, I didn't sell out. The only thing I did do was, maybe give the devil a little bit too much of my time that's all but i didn't sell out i don't know who the fuck told you that your demonic cars but it's all right because that's going to backfire on you right and now i'm looking at certain patterns you may want to look closer to the truth the men who was you with who was you standing with right who did you give your number to right are you sure none of these men were a part of any type of organization that's why you have to be spiritual, right? That's all I've done. Maybe gave the devil a little bit too much of my time, and that's it. Until you wake up, until that veil gets um, spread, removed from your eyes, these men, they're still in the world. They're still, they're still in bed with the Herodians. Okay? And it says, you cannot serve the Mosai and Mammon. Right? So, we can't do that. You're either in or you're either out. Simple as that. You're either in this truth or you're either out. <sighs> Excuse me. <sighs> right? Can't have it both ways. And this is why men struggle. This is why they even struggle to do videos. Because their mind's in the wrong place. Right? They've already received their consolation. Go back to John. This is First John 2. Right? And 16, for all that is in the world, check it out. The lust of the flesh, which Satan operates on. That's why, what was he doing? He was tempting Yahweh Shai with all these different things and delicacies of the world, right? So this mean, this shows you haven't sold out. If people are constantly around you, example, you're watching a video upon um, a motorbike, then all of a sudden, that same motorbike you saw, that pulls past you. Or you're watching a video on a pretty brunette, brunette woman right nice figure and that brunette woman sent to you bro that means somebody knows what you like and they're trying to tempt you because you have not sold out you got to understand the game so satan knowing that you haven't sold out you become high value within even the kingdom of darkness you become a high valued target because satan doesn't come after those that are already his don't you understand he comes after those that he doesn't have. That's why it was said to Peter, Simon, sign of son of Jonas, Satan has desired to have you and to shift you. That he may have you. So Satan wanted Peter on his side. What's so bloody hard to understand about that? Right? Satan wanted Peter on his side. Okay? So you've got to understand what we're dealing with. Right? And Satan, a lot of the time, he's going to come aggressive as well. Very aggressive. Okay? Because he wants you to join his team. But if you have into any type of form of integrity, guess what? You ain't going to join his team. Right? If you have any level of integrity, you're not going to join Satan's team. You're going to stay on your house. And a lot of men, they've done, done that. Bro, I've known that for years. I've known that, bro, I've known that for years. That was no secret to me. I told you there was a lot of men in the truth that were not right. It's so like in camps that are not right, right? Because they're not really, if they're not right, they're not really in the truth, right? They're just amongst the truth, right? For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, right? Lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. So there we go. Lust of the flesh. Satan works upon these things, right? Satan loves that lust. That's why he would bring what? 
because Satan also uses sex and so forth as a lust, right? And not just not just sex, all types of things. Any type of desire that's catered to the flesh is a lust, right? The lust of the flesh. Oh, a nice car, I really need that, I'll do anything to get it. Money, that's a lust. I'll do anything for that money. That's why you got people selling out each other. You got families selling out each other, friends selling out each other. That's why you want to separate from this world. Okay. And it says, Baba Kisha, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. And I know these demonic, I want to throw this out there. Yeah, I know your demonic ass men are watching as well. Right, I'm talking about in the truth. I know, bro, I know you've got devices around my, uh, bro, a lot of that's to do with the wicked ass Pharisees in the truth. Right, I know you're listening to my conversations. Well, guess what? The Lord's going to destroy you anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Right, whoever that be. Right, and Ananias, is it Ananias? Is it, no, Caphias, Caphias is here today. Caphias is here today, right? And I believe, I don't, I'm not gonna give out, I'm not gonna give out the name, I'm not gonna give out the name. He's in one of your, he's in one of your main camps, main camp, I believe he's in Great Milson, one of your main camps, I'm not gonna give his name. He's very proud, I'll tell you that, he's very, very, very proud, very proud, right? Can't really take correction, that's what I'm gonna say. But it's not for me to say, oh, this is Caphias, it's all gonna be revealed in due time. Right, and Caphias was what the high priest, right? That was ultimately against Yahweh Shai. That's who Caphias was, right? The one that was threatened by him, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Why? Because of their following. Just because of a following they had, right? So hold on a minute. You're going to deny salvation just to live good here, bro. So these men, they were not. These men, they didn't really have the right mindset. You're going to deny your salvation just to live good here. Just to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a moment. You know what that shows me? You're small in the mind. And the lust of the eyes, bro, because the eyes... I forgot where it is. It says, ain't nothing more wicked than the eyes. Sometimes The eyes is, what is it? It's a physical thing, right? Right? We see. And you may like something. But it doesn't mean it's right at that time. Okay. Wow, all the witches, all the witches and warlocks are coming out now. But I don't really focus on them too much anyway. Right? And it says Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. And the and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. The pride of life is not of the Heavenly Father. That's of the world. It's not of the Heavenly Father at all. The pride of life, what, what do you think of when you think of the pride of life? You think of marketing, right? Bright shining lights, high skyscrapers, two apartments. That's what, that's what I think of, that's what comes to mind. Well, all the witches are out now. Uh-uh. <laughs> just a minute. They just come out, they come out when I come out, but you're not supposed to be afraid of them. Remember, your is in control of everything. They work for the left-hand side. Right, if anything, they're there to keep you in order if you're of the elect. Right? So yeah, the pride of life. Right? And a lot of these people are traffickers, by the way. Yeah. I'm finding out all these things. That's why you gotta you gotta get away from this world. You gonna find out a lot of them are human traffickers. Right? Trafficking children. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Right? They're trafficking children. Right? All types of shit. Right, hypnotizing them, drinking their blood. And anyway, bear me just a minute. Pride of life is not of the world, but it's of the world. So that's of the world. We don't we don't want to be in that spirit. Right? But it's of the world. This is the most this is the most honorable thing you could be doing is serving Yahweh Shai. And guess what? You're definitely useful if you're serving Yahweh Shai the right way. Now, if you don't have faith, then you're not useful to Yahweh Shai. Because you've got a lot of useful idiots, should I say. Yeah, that's what they are. They're useful idiots for the New World Order. And let me, I just want to, I just want to let you know this as well. You know the whole thing with, you know the whole thing with the useless? Useless! You know what? You know why that's said? Because it's, again, Masonic terms. Remember these people speaking cults. The reason why they deem you as useless, you know why? Because you're not, you're not going to be used by Satan, remember? Within this kingdom of darkness, 
If Satan can't use you, that's how Satan thinks. Oh, well, guess what? I can't use you, then that means you're useless. I laugh at that now. I laugh at that because I know I'm not and I'm learning new skills every single day. Don't believe in that rubbish. That's just Satan because he can't use you. Don't you understand? He can't control you. Now, these people, they're controlled by Satan. Right? So, because Satan can't control you, therefore, guess what? You're useless. <laughs> right? But, but again, Yahawashai talked about in Matthew 25, right? Use your talents. So, what's talents? Talantios, which is gifts. Bro, we have multiple gifts. Bro, I've shown you some of the videos, right? Of my joinery, which I never thought, I, at one point, I never thought I could do something like that. Joinery. And yeah, some of my some of my things I'm doing, you may say, well, why is he taking so long to do it? Bro, I'm a newcomer. I wasn't I wasn't taught, I wasn't trained, I never go to university, college, right? These are just it's spare of the moment things. And why am I rushing anyway? I don't need to prove nothing to you. Oh, but look how long you took to build that. It, that took about 40, 20 minutes. So fucking what? Excuse me, so what? Analyzing everything some, someone's doing. It's about learning that skill, but more for what's the main skill? What's the main talent? This truth. But I have been learning different talents out. I don't want to say outside the truth. Um, in my spare time, a bit of joinery and so forth, and I'm really good at it. I'm really good at. I'm well, you know, what? I don't want to say I'm really good at it. I'm all right at it. I'm not really good. At it. I'm all right. Right? Coming up with different patterns and so forth. Things at one point I think no. How did I do that? It's all for you. How shy? We have many gifts, we have many talents. So Satan gets mad. Ah, how comes he ain't using them talents for, for me? He won't give, well, give, that, give that thing over to me, right? And I'll make you a star. No, because once you serve your Habashai, he does that. But that's how Satan is, yeah? Just, just, just work that thing over, work it over, yeah? Then um, I'll give you a pay rise. No, thank you. Right? So if you if you say no thank you, if you decline his offer, then that's how Satan comes. Well guess what? You're useless to me. Because you can't be you. And they know that. Used and abused by Satan. Alright? We want to be used by Yahabashite on the right hand side. Okay? And the world passeth away. And it's a miracle that I'm still here. There's a lot of men that were plotting my demise. So many things that have happened. It's a miracle that Yahabashai still keeps me going. You know how many people have spoken evil upon my life? And I'm still able to teach this word. It's a miracle. Right? And it says, and the world passeth away. So, ha having wisdom, you knowing this world's going to pass away. So, what's the mindset to have? So, knowing that the world's going to pass away, why would you sell out? Why would you take a deal? And it's even worse if you're in the truth. If you... Any, this is a message to anybody that's in the truth. If you knew about the truth and you chose to sell out, you're the biggest idiot. You're the biggest idiot. Because now you're, you're really going to get judged. Scripture says, woe unto them that have lost patience. What will you do when the Lord shall come? What are you going to do? So that means, you, hold on, you knew the truth. Excuse me. So you knew the truth and you chose to sell out. That means you're really, really an imbecile for that. You knew the truth, but you chose to still sell out. Come on. Come on. All right? That, that's because you wasn't patient. And really, ultimately, you lacked faith. Ultimately, that's what you've done. You, you lacked faith. Right? And the elect are not going to do that. The elect are going to stay having integrity. All right? No matter what, right? They're going to take a little 360 deal. And start selling out, you know, start, um, what, the 501c3 charter, right? Just for tax exemption. But therefore, if you take that 501c3, that means there's certain things you can't mention, right? If you take the 501c3 charter, that means there's certain things you cannot mention that you have to keep out of the scriptures. So you ever wonder why certain men, now they mention you how a shy, but... It's very rare. And it may have been one point they were mentioning Yahweh, but certain you just started to notice they stopped mentioning Yahweh Shai. Maybe because they sold out. Maybe someone probably came to them with a suit, a briefcase, 
said, just stop teaching this, stop teaching that, and we give you this much. This is what men do if they don't have integrity, right? Now you messed up because now you've compromised yourself. That's, there's many ways to selling out. There's many ways to selling out and selling out is a compromise, right? What do you compromise? Your morals. You're not supposed to compromise your morals for no one. Okay. So, let's continue. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh Shai. Are you listening? The will of Yahweh Shai abideth forever. So what would you rather? Right? We want to do the will of Yahweh Shai. <laughs> Right? And when you do the will of Yahweh Shai, you're gonna abide. Okay, you're gonna abide in his words. Okay. And it says Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, we're done on that. Baba Kasha. Go to verse 18, little children, it is the last time as you have heard that the Antichrist shall come. What's Antichrist? Anti Mashak, those that are against the anointed. Even now there are many anti mushy arts there's not one there's not two guess what there's many there's many anti mushy arts right those that are against the truth there's many antichrists different religions the pharisees they were anti mushy arts they never truly believed right they never really truly believed okay that's why you have to be circumcised. That's why you really have to stand for the truth. Right? That's why you have to have integrity. Excuse me just a minute. Okay? And that's why you have to have what something called integrity. Because if you have integrity, you ain't going to take no 360 deal from the enemy. Right? And guess what? You're going to stay bold in the faith that you possess. Right? So we went to that, Baba Kasha. And we know how this world's gonna go out. It's gonna go out by fire. Read Second Peter's three and ten. Right? So your synagogues, guess what? Your synagogues that you have all across the globe, yeah, uh, we're, we're global. We have camps all over the place, which nothing's wrong with that because yeah, even Yahweh Shai, remember it said in the time of Paul when he was prophesying, there was that like three thousand followers, so there's nothing wrong with having followers, but who are these followers? Do they really believe? Why are they watching? That's what you need to discern. Nothing's wrong with having followers, but you may have followers that just watch, want to be entertained and whatever, right? And you have followers that are sincere, that are of the elect, right? Just so you had, you have a shy. With him, you also had the multitude, right? That were sincere. Right? Really sincere. Okay? So, again, there's a difference. Okay? You're going to get some that just listen for entertainment. Oh, I need to join that camp. And it ain't mandatory that you need to join a camp. That's another thing. So, you know what? I don't want to go on too long. And I think we shut off soon. Go to James 4. Because I want to move on to my next lesson. Go to James 4 and, uh, no, you know what, James 4 and for ye adulteress and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the most high, whosoever there will be a friend of the world is an enemy of, of Yahweh Shai, so let's not be friends of this world, because if you're a friend of this world, Guess what that means? That means you're an enemy of the Heavenly Father. So we don't want to be companions with the world. Now we're in the world to do things. Yeah, you have to operate, right? A lot of you have to pay bills, do this, do that, travel, whatever, and provide. So you're still in the world, but you're not of the world. Always a huge difference. Huge difference. So with this lesson, I'm going to shut off here. Lord willing, this was edifying to whoever's listening. And until the next time, Shalom.